Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. Uh, yesterday I released a video for the version 1 uh, keypad servo controller with uh, two programmable codes, internal EEPROM memory, uh, with a uh, siren panic alarm. And uh, this version is very similar. I was able to import a fair bit of the code, uh, but what makes this one different is it's not Arduino compatible. It does not have Arduino compatible outputs, but rather it, uh, it talks to you through a, a 8 ohm 1 watt speaker. Now there are two options uh, high power and low power for volume and if you get uh, annoyed with my voice you can simply uh, unplug the speaker. So upon powering it on for the first time which I'll do right now, notice the servo motor right here will uh, glitch a little. That's the servo motor. I, ha I have code that corrects it right after and it tells me enter combination, but we don't have a combination right now, so we need to program in two different combinations. The first combination uh, directs the servo motor and can be used to unlock a door. The second combo is the panic alarm, which sets off the siren for a, a duration. So let's program in our codes. In order to program in our codes, we have to enter in the into the two different program modes. So in enter, to enter into the servo program mode, we press star number AA. To enter into the uh, panic alarm program mode, we enter star number DD. So let's enter uh, into servo program mode. Enter program mode. Enter combination. So let's enter 1, 2, 3, A. Code program. Enter combination. So let's enter our panic alarm code. And we'll enter 456B, just for simplicity. Enter so now we've entered in our two codes, 123A for um, the servo unlock, 456B for the panic alarm. So if I enter in the wrong combination, What if I take too long to enter in a code? Timeout. Okay. So there are timeouts, uh, incorrect combinations. Let's enter in the servo code. Watch the servo motor. It will move 45 degrees for about 5 seconds, then move back. Now, if I enter in the panic alarm, what's going to happen is the LED is going to blink about 18 times, and the siren's going to turn on. And I won't be able to turn off the siren until the LED stops blinking. After that, I can press 1 at any time. I can even hold it down if I want. And when I let go, the system resets. Siren turns off. So it's very loud. I'm, last uh, video I made, the uh, camera wasn't even able to pick up just how loud it was. Uh, but let's go for it. So that's saved into memory. A neat option is I can remove the enable jumper, remove the siren, and use the relay to control something external on this on this uh, terminal block. There are three outputs of the terminal block, a common pin, normally open pin, and normally closed pin. And those are the pins internal of the relay. So you can actually switch AC devices if you want, or perhaps a solenoid. Anyhow, what if I unplug? I'll unplug it. The servo will glitch again upon power up, but then it correct itself. Enter combination. The codes have actually been saved in the EEPROM memory of the market controller. So if I press 123A, it still remembers it. Now for the, for the panic alarm, what if I put in, instead of 456B, 456A? Incorrect combination. Incorrect combination. Enter now let's do it again. I'm going to turn the siren upside down so it's not so loud for me this time. Enter combination. So these two boards, along with perhaps another board that I've, I've been toying with, will hopefully be part of a next another Kickstarter campaign. Uh, after my last Kickstarter campaign was was a. Uh, 
very successful, and thanks to all of you who did pledge. Um, I hope you found this interesting. I will be obviously correcting this, you know, toying around with the software, making it as efficient as I can, and uh, I will also implement the low power options so that the volume on the speaker with my voice is not so loud. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate your time.